Um, you know, you can inspire other people with a good movie. So for my, in my definition, entrepreneurship would include people who basically produce product, produce innovation, and try to get that onto it by solving a problem with that, you know? I really appreciate that. So whatever... I think he's merging the word entrepreneur with innovator <laughs> and creator. No, I, I love it. You know, I love different perspectives. It's so American. Here's the thing. No, 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 that's, you, I gotta... how, how you the one on empowerment. Yes, on empowerment. This whole project is about women empowerment. And you need some sort of sustainable model, right? So it's nice that you want to... That's why my project isn't just about inspiration. Yeah. That's why there's a business plan at the end. Because the idea is... It's not just about trying to do something nice for the world, it's trying to do something nice for the world that's sustainable for you and for others. Because that's really how you create sustainable innovation. Okay. Mm. And also your filmmaker person probably is trying to make some money, right? Of course, of always. Of course, right? Francis Ford, that was a hand. Yeah. Um, you always learn a lot about somebody and their endeavors uh, by talking to people around them. So what I'm really interested and curious is what Josh has to say about uh, this. I mean, yes. he's obviously very supportive and he's flying all the way around, you know, the world with you, so. Um, <laughs> Mate, the man is on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit next to each other and take a nice photograph. <laughs> so I think it's a pretty broad question about what I have to say. Anything more specific? Um, well, I mean, how, how, how did you, I mean, from conceptualizing the whole entire idea and going into it, and you being, I mean, she obviously consulted with you, and you're a part of it. I mean, how do you feel about this whole, I mean, you, you must have a feeling about it, like when you heard about it, you're like, what do you think about this whole entire idea, and, and the rest of it? I, I, know, I know I'm not really narrowing it down, but hopefully. But it's like a marriage counseling session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how does it feel, I'll make it easier. How does it feel to be involved in a woman that's trying to go around the world and bring all these, yeah, a tribe together, right? Are you contributing to this tribe? Do you support this tribe? Are you ancillary to this tribe? So, Have you got your own tribe? <laughs> so I definitely support this one. First of all, I support her as my wife and, and she has great ambitions and you know, I want to do what I can to help her succeed in her own ambitions. And additionally, I also really believe in the project. I believe in that women do make a difference in the world. And in fact, uh, one of the things that we didn't really talk about in the story was last September we went and volunteered for two weeks in Tanzania. And we worked with a group of three women who work with this local community kind of rural area in Tanzania near Kilimanjaro. And this group of three women with very little education, with no, very little resources, you know, don't even have consistent electricity, right? are helping a community of families that are impacted by HIV. And with, again, no education, no resources, they're able to help dozens of children get an education, they're able to help the sick in the communities get some physical therapy, and you know, as part of our going out there and helping them, um, it was really inspiring to see what women can do and how they give so much with their heart when you know something like that was struggling for sustainability, and that's one of the things that we work with them on. But I, it was amazing, and it was so moving, and I really believe in this stuff as well. Brilliant answer. Thank you very much. Uh, you can go off stage now. Let's want to stay there. So was there one more question? Oh, two more. Let's we'll start with that. The lady's going to interview you. Is now going to interview you back. Ask really hard questions, please. I was wondering what your goals are for after you're finished with your video. Would you then consider that the entrepreneur community would be all women, or it would include men who support women who pursue entrepreneurial ventures? It's open to everyone. There's definitely a focus on female millennials. However, anyone who wants to participate is, is more than welcome to because I don't believe this is a purely female you know, path and it definitely requires male support and as you can see I have my husband's and I completely believe in male support I feel like all men and women 
Wow, all the hands are going up. We'll, uh, we'll take this one more question here. Can you promise me you'll make a t-shirt called The F Show? For the men. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story. I find it very inspiring and actually have a lot that I can resonate with you and your story, so thank you for that. I'm just curious for you, um, have there been any surprising takeaways or insights after actually interviewing the women that you've met? One of the biggest, I think, I don't, I'm not sure if this is surprising or not. Uh, I've, I've always believed women are very strong, so that's not very surprising, but how much passion there is, how much persistence, it's just admirable, and these women are turning their wheels trying to figure out how do you make this sustainable, how do you help the world, I mean, I, that to me, every single time it has, it, 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 does, it hasn't lost its magic for me. The other thing I would say is, how much being a strong woman, this has really actually come up and it's a little bit more surprising just because it's more of a subconscious thing, but how strong women are lonely or misunderstood and it's hard to find the right partner. And I'm so glad and, and so grateful for my husband and in fact, this has been such a surprising fact that it's inspired both of us to consider, well, for me to support him, to write a book on a, a CEO's husband to help other males see the perspective of what it means to support a strong woman without losing their identity. Etc. So. Good idea. Wait, we have two. I'm sure you. I'll give you another Two more. Um, I have a question. Um, I, it's really interesting because when I looked at your blog, um, I just had an instant uh, feeling that you're really good with, with personal branding. And I like the way you use the heart. I think the visual identity of your brand is really good. And the hashtag is good. Um, and I was just wondering because you, you, you come from, I, I come from a similar background, a consulting background, uh, where we're, we're kind of known as squares. Um, and how did you make that transition to, you know, to Quite, quite a hip looking website. Did someone do it for you or did you do it? Uh -huh. The woman does it all. Uh. No, uh, thank you so much first off for the compliment. I really appreciate it. I, I did make all of it myself. Um, I, I mean, I guess it, it was an intuitive thing to do a heart because this definitely is a heart project for me. It's something that's very close to me. In the technology world, there aren't a lot of women and with all my heart, I definitely want to serve my tribe and I want to do my best. And the F, the hashtag F for me was this concept of, I believe our generation is a lot about being a collective, but it's also very much about being an individual. And for me, the F can mean the femmepreneur, but it can also mean so many other things, like fearless or female, whatever you want it to be. And so I wanted to have the show be the F show, but have the F really be open to interpretation uh, and, and have women make it their own. So more to come on that, I suppose. Excellent. Last question. Hi, so Lolita, I totally drank your Kool-Aid, and I feel like we've probably met in another life because uh, my uh, my logo is also a heart, uh -huh. and it's two G's in Jalot, standing for girl and good, because we're trying to uh, empower females and do good, and um, it was very like and people were really so feminine. I'm like, actually, there's more to it. In Glenn, it's like, damn it, like, you know, I'm like, don't fucking make up, just you know, double meanings and things. So I already know we're gonna get along. I'm part of your tribe. How, and this is a question I think a lot of us will have, how can I help you? I like this idea of helping. So actually, I do want to side remark, and thank you so much for your, for your beautiful words. Uh, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest takeaways has also been that women struggle to ask for help. We're very willing to say, how can I help you? What can I do for you? But not, what can you do for me? Can you help me? Uh, the, the project is evolving right now. I'm definitely focused on the interviews and the networking, getting the right women on the show, 
and uh, making sure I sleep and eat and make some time for my husband. And you found your video editor? Where's he gone? You got He's your video not. editor? Yes, I know. I have a video editor. So that's been my primal focus. Editing will be huge. PR will also be big. Uh, I really... I How about translating your content into another language? Yes, actually. Chinese. My first language is Spanish. En español, ¿cómo quieres? I want to do that. En español o en francés, ¿cómo quieres? Yeah, I would love that. Chinese. If anyone knows an easy way to translate everything I'm doing, I, I was thinking... There's this thing called Google that you can shout words into. They come out the other end. It's not so good for this, but what I want to I do, do is actually transcribe everything into Spanish. So why don't you ask your community to translate for you? That's what really doesn't need to know nowadays. You're going to do that? Yes. All right. Jennifer can sort out the Chinese side. Nice. Anybody else? Any, any more languages? Australian? <laughs> Danish? We've got Danish over there. Any more? You played palm palm palm. Tell me. Japanese, any more? No, no, no. That's it. No. Right, that's it. We've got two languages. Three languages. Danish, Australian, Chinese, Cantonese and uh, Thank you. Cool. I appreciate the question. Thank you for coming. It's been yeah, very a pleasure you. to talk thank to you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, well well done. Done. One more question. How long are you here for? I'm here until Saturday. Don't go away. She's here for another hour, half an hour. Uh, All right, Saturday. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You can email me. I think everyone should have gotten my business card, so if you need me, just reach out to me. You can talk to two now. Thank you. Anyway, good job. Thank you. Good job.